You have one hand in rap and one in the streets. You're gonna have to be faithful to one when them both sides meet. It's officially Free Sue Surf. This is beyond an unfortunate situation. Most, most of all, because I feel like, like besides the obvious uh, of the situation, I just feel like Sue Surf was absolutely at the height of his career. Between his music, I personally think there's only a selective few. I mean, this is me being completely honest. Salute to everyone who follows their dreams and works on their craft, but I truly only feel like there's a small, less than a handful of battle rappers that have that true, true musical talent where it's like, yo, I can hear this on the radio. I can see them being signed to, you know what I mean? And I believe Sue Surf was number one on that list. I feel like he had the connections that he was making as well. I feel like there there's certain tracks on my playlist on in my phone that I listen to from his um catalog of work with a new mixtape on on the way. He also just headlined the biggest event that Smack throws outside of Gnome um and won the battle 3-0. He had a way about him t that that he was able to spin <laughs> narratives so well as well. Like, I mean, you battled him in the promo, you battled him during the battle, and then after the battle. He possessed that power to, to a T. There is only one Sue Surf. You're not going to be able to duplicate what he did. And we're not going to be, he will be missed in this culture. I feel like you, we are going to feel the void of Surf not being here. He, he now, like, when he was on his run with the choking, he was still the highly most anticipated battler to see. Then when he stepped away, you couldn't wait to see him come back. And then him being at his, I feel like literally this was his prime. You have some old school classics who serves, but this was truly his prime era. It is beyond unfortunate. And I want to just say from the bottom of my heart, I pray that there is mercy shown on Sue Surf by the justice system. Because now that it, now that facts are out, now that he's actually locked up and for what he's locked up for is when those when they come for you it's never good and i and and i'm about positive positive mind state because i feel like there's a lot of things you can't control in this world, but the number one thing that you have to focus on controlling is the way you react to a situation. That determines the outcome of how you will just, you, you would feel and move forward from it, dealing with it, and even holding on to it. A lot of times we hold on to situations we should be letting go, or, or I just, th this situation, he's in a tough one. And, um, you know, the last time I spoke to Sue Surf, it was a good conversation. As you know, there was a lot of um, backlash on a tweet I put out. I said, I feel like we have to hold this L because we're saying free surf, but he's home tweeting. Um, It's funny because when I spoke to Sue Surf about that, his he wasn't at he wasn't mad at the tweet as much as he was. He basically voiced to me that he needs me. And, and all energy to be positive right now for him because of what he's going through, which we now see what he's going through. I explained to him, even with an LOL in it, like, yo, it's just, you know, I felt like I jumped out the window saying free you while you were free. To this day, you have people still tweeting or, or, or talking about that. I'm not about that life. And I don't know nothing about this or that because I thought... 
you're supposed to say free someone when they're actually incarcerated. To say, oh, you don't, no, you're right. You know what I didn't know about? His situation. You know what I didn't know about? Him having to turn himself in until he actually told me that himself. Then the only person I would be apology to was him and to explain to him, I didn't know that. I didn't know the severity of your situation and knowing that the inevitable is you absolutely going to have to. Even then, I don't promote you saying free him when he was still free. That is a conversation that I see I'm not going to win. I am completely in acceptance of that because my, that does not matter. What matters is that this man has been taken from us, from the culture, from his family, from his child. He's now in his, he's basically gonna, gonna be in a fight for his life. It's so serious that unless you actually know Sue Surfer, like if a random person just clicked this and doesn't even know gyms, up until that point, you would think that I was talking about someone who passed away. That's how serious this is. Before I forget, I just want to mention that if anyone close to Surf or anyone in his circle or dealing with his music or anything along that line needs any form of promo, for Sue Surf and it'll help to get his music out or whatever the case may be or maybe contact information or, or somewhere that somewhere, someone can write him or contact him or anything that he might need that, that I could do the bare minimum of, of giving a hand in. I want y'all to reach out to me. My Instagram, my Twitter is in the link in the description so that I could get the voice out or, or anything that's needed in the surf situation. I feel like at the end of the day, we might argue, we might talk about battles, we might talk about whatever we want, but you know what I'm saying? We are a huge dysfunctional family in this culture. You know what I'm saying? And you don't like all your family members, so I, I don't have no problem calling this a dysfunctional family. Like, no, I ain't your, no, we are, we're a dysfunctional family. I have cousins I haven't spoken to in years, in years and don't want to. Wish them the best from a distance, but sometimes you have to love people from afar. With that being said, you're still family. You're gonna be sad at the funeral. <laughs> You'll be sad at, uh, of bad circumstances and situations if they happen, when they happen, God forbid they happen. I said that to say this, I have a heart, man. I feel for him. I, I, I feel sorry for him. You know, I know people, cause you know, that Joe Budden line, it, it hits more than any, you know, you can't have one foot in one foot out. And remember Surf telling me, make a blog and explain to people to learn from this, to learn from my situation. And that was like heartbreaking to reread because I reread our conversation today that we had a week ago. And that part right there is the most heartbreaking part about it because he knew he did wrong. He knew you can't, you can't do both. You can't have one foot in and one foot out when it comes to this. Yeah, baby. I'm coming two minutes. And... You know, th even this right here, you know, right now, I feel like, you know, one of my mentors had told had said before that uh, nature's healing, nature's God's free therapy. I'm out here on my property upstate and, um, you know, I'm I, I, you know, I'm looking at my daughter here, my son. And, you know, I, I this is my whole life. This is my whole heart. This is everything that means something to me, what I strive for every single day. And this man has been taken from that. And, you know, there are people be like, oh, he did it to himself. And you know what, though? It's done with, right? There, there's no lectures that I can give. There's no advice that I can give towards him. It's already done. So I feel like in my position, I don't want to talk about, you know, he brought this on himself. The gang, this, the, the, it is what it is. But as you, but because he don't need advice anymore. It's done. But if you're, but if you're watching this and you have an opportunity, like the ones that he was given, that, that, that God has gave Sue Surf the opportunity to be a superstar in battle rap, to make the music he is, to get out of the, the hood. If you have that opportunity, understand that you can't, you can't have both. And when you get greedy and when you, when you, when you take advantage of your blessings, God just might stop giving them to you or he might punish or the universe, or, you know, we lost Pat Stay, rest in peace, Pat Stay, to the tragic tragedy with him. 
I'm making a whole, my next blog will be about Pat Stay and um, King of the Dot and, and what's happening with Pat Stay um, and how we can further help his family. And I'm just blessed to be alive when I think of Pat Stay. And I'm blessed of being here with my family and my children when I think of Sue Surf. And, 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 and I'm humbled in realizing how blessed I truly am in this world. Wow, good swing. And I'm gonna get to my blessings now. Um, hey, hey, give her the ball. She's playing nice with it. Please give it back to her and put, don't throw it at her. Put it back where she had it nicely. She's practicing her baseball. And baby, you can use your regular voice when you speak, okay? Thank you. Another thing, speaking of sports, um, Coach Mike, his, all his information is in the link in the description. He's, he, he, uh, there's questions that y'all been, you guys have been asking me in the comments. Don't ask me, guys. Coach Mike's number is there. You can literally text him, email him. Follow his gram. Check out what he's doing with the youth sports. How he's making money from it. And you can let's talk about you know you can make money from this while helping. This guy's damn near retired. This is what he does: working two days a week, making a a big amount of money. He's not asking for your money. He's asking for locations. He's asking for gymnasiums and parks you might have in your neighborhood. And with that help you can give him, you can make some cash out of it. Let's just call it for what it is. You ain't just got to do it. Be like, oh, it's a good, it's a good deed and, and good money you could get from it. Hit the, hit, in the link in the description, you could check them out. Also, again, my Twitter, my Instagram, you could DM me or tweet me if there's anything that I can do to help to serve situation for, on this channel. Please do that as well. Hit me up. And um, y'all stay good out there. Without making change, nothing changes. It's, it's amazing how much that quote that I live by applies more and more, isn't it? Without making change, nothing changes. Free Sue Surf.